you know, not playing well and I was probably in my own head and I wasn't being a good teammate. And, you know, it's, it's easy to sit here and point the finger at people and say, I should have played more, I should have done this. But um, I'm the first person to look in the mirror and say, you know, I got to be better um, to never let what happened this series, you know, happen again. There's been days where, you know, you don't feel like getting out of bed. Um, getting to come here every day and see my teammates, you know, made everything better. A day after being eliminated from the playoffs, an honest and emotional Josh Giddy has opened up about his rollercoaster third season, where he was benched for the first time in his career and admitted there were some days this year where he didn't feel like getting out of bed. Giddy impressed in the round one series against the Pelicans, averaging just under 13 points in 27 minutes, while shooting 50% from deep, but saw his role significantly reduced against the Mavs. Having already had his minutes cut in half, in the first four games of the series, then Giddy started off the bench for Game 5, the first time he had done so in his NBA career, which he revealed he didn't know how to react. I've, I've always been in a position where I've played a lot of minutes and started in my whole life, and then when suddenly things don't happen um, the way you want them to and the way you think they're going to pan out, um, how do you react? And, you know, probably the first two games of the playoffs um, against Dallas, uh, I didn't play a lot and I was, you know, not playing well and I was probably in my own head and I wasn't being a good teammate. and. Um, it just felt bad, like, even after we won game one, I just, I was, I was trying to be happy, but I was also so, you know, worried internally, like, um, I couldn't fully get around the guys the way I wanted to, and um, it was a bad feeling, and from, from that point on, I made a promise to myself that whether I play five minutes or 40 minutes, I'm going to be the best teammate I can be, um, I'm going to be up off the bench, cheering for the guys, you know, being supportive, and um, that was kind of the mindset I took into the next three games, and I um, love my teammates, so I just wanted to be there for them as much as I could, and even though Giddy didn't like the decision being removed from the starting lineup, he agreed it was probably the right call to make, even if it was a bitter pill to swallow. I mean, as I said, it's a chess match. You know, you play the same team six times in a row. They're going to make adjustments. We're going to make adjustments. Um, and they made some. They Obviously, we knew that we were going to kind of cross-match going into the series, and we are trying to find ways to attack it, but um, there was probably diff better, better matchups for us on the floor um, at the time, and um, obviously, I was struggling, so... You know, um, coach did what he thought was best for the team, and um, and to be honest, I probably agree with him. You know, as, as hard as it is for a player to sit there and say, um, you know, I should be on the bench. You know, at the time, like Queso, Isaiah, Wiggs, these guys were probably better in this series for for, for Dallas, and um, you know, it's a hard, it's a tough pill to swallow. But um, as I said to Gello, it's for a 21 year old to go through this now. Um, it's probably good for me, and um, as I said, I, I just I don't want to feel this feeling again, and. Um, It'll make me a lot better and um, stronger as a player to, to, to never let something like this happen again. Giddy knows he needs to improve his shooting in particular, telling reporters he will get better so something like these playoffs will never happen again. You know, having a series like the last one to go into the summer with is probably something I need, you know, as a 21-year-old um, to have this early in my career where you go through a series like that where, you know, you start the whole season and, you know, you don't play a lot of minutes. Um, that's probably what I need, to be honest. And um, you know, there's obviously a lot of things I got to work on in the summer, and I, I you know, probably don't sound so excited, but I really am to get back home and work on the things I need to. Um, national team, obviously, with the Olympics, and um, there's a lot of things I need to work on and get better at. And you know, it's, it's easy to sit here and point the finger at people and say I should have played more, I should have done this, but um, I'm the first person to look in the mirror and say, you know, I got to be better, um, and I do, and I will be. Um, you know, I will be better, and there's a lot of things I got to work on, but um, that's what the summer's for, it's what the off season's for, so. Um, you know, I can't wait and um, to get back next season and um, show, you know, that I'm a different player and um, to never let what happened this series, you know, happen again. With the well-documented off-the-court issues this season, Giddy was at pains to recognise that the constant support had not gone unappreciated, admitting there were some days this year where you didn't feel like getting out of bed. Yeah, I love it here. This is, this is you know, home away from home. Um, I love everything about this place, the city, the fans. The organization top to bottom um, is, is just unbelievable people throughout the building and um, getting to come here to work every day is so much fun. You know, it doesn't feel like work. Um, every time I wake up in the morning, um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to see the guys. And um, even through even through times throughout the year where, um, you know, maybe there was dark days, maybe things weren't going great. Um, getting to come here every day and see my teammates, you know, made everything better. And I just love the group of guys we've got and i um, excited to keep Keep growing with them and um, Sam, Mark, 
you know, everybody top to bottom has just been you know, unbelievable for me this, this entire season. And, um, I just love coming to work here every day. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the biggest challenge I've ever gone through. Um, you know, those, for a number of reasons, obviously. And, um, you know, I think mentally is the part that gets overlooked the most um, for any player. And, you know, it's so easy for people um, to, you know, see what's happening on the floor, um, but not see what happens behind the scenes. And then there's so much more to a person than basketball. Um, and that's for anyone, not just me. And, you know, I think, you, you, you know, you, you have a couple bad games, you start to get in your own head. Um, maybe you lose confidence, whatever the case may be. But uh, for me, I, I've just tried to um, stay within the team as much as I can this year. And that's been the thing for me that I found has worked the best. When you come in every day, you get, you know, you get amongst the team and you get, um, you stay within the group. And uh, that's what cheers guys up and that's what gets you back on the right path. And um, as I said, I'm really lucky to have good people around me that, that really care and uh, really are there for you. And um, you know, there's definitely been days and stretches throughout this year that um, have been tough. You know, it's not a secret, but so I mean, there's been a lot. I mean, th there's been days where, you know, you don't feel like getting out of bed, um, you know, for, for a number of reasons. And um, as I said, I'm just lucky to have people around me that care, that, um, you know, were there for me. And um, coming in every day, seeing them, my teammates, that helps. Being in the gym, working out, that, that definitely helps. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a million things, but uh, they're probably the few that, 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 that help the most, I guess, with staying on track and, you know, drowning out outside noise. Whether Giddy will be in Oklahoma City long-term remains up in the air, with the Australian extension eligible this summer. Despite his struggles in the series against Dallas, the 21-year-old has shown enough throughout his career, especially when playing a traditional point guard role, to earn a decent extension. However, the funder may not be in a position to offer what Giddy is after, given that SGA is likely a super max candidate while teammates Chet Holgram and Jalen Williams will be due for extensions in the near future. Do you guys think that Josh Giddy will make it back into OKC starting five? Or do you think he'll have to look for new opportunities? Let me know what you guys think. For me, I'm betting on Josh to bounce back with OKC after having a standout performance for the Boomers at the Paris Olympics. All right guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. That really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Um, to never let what happened this series you not know, happen again.